Hi, this is Dr. Tushar Shah, 22nd of January 2022. This is an important video only for the medical professional. This is about Delta versus Omicron on RT-PCR. There are some labs which use the TAC path platform. This platform can detect S gene presence or S gene dropout. Infection in Thane, for example, is one such lab. The report is uh, re correct. The, the platform is there, but the interpretation is not correct. And unfortunately, many people start saying that S gene detected on the RT-PCR report of such labs means that the patient has Delta and therefore can be given the monoclonal antibody cocktail. Now that is wrong. S gene detection occurs in Delta and occurs in Omicron sublineage BA2. Let me explain. Omicron so far has three sublineages. Sublineages are varieties within the variant. For example, Delta had 1 to 28, AY1 to AY28, 28, 28 sublineages detected so far. Some countries have one particular uh, sublineage, India had some uh, sublineages. So the whole virus parent is Delta. In that case, in Omicron, there are three sublineages, BA1, BA2 and BA3. For all practical purposes, uh, BA3 does not occur in India as of today. BA1 and BA2 occur in India. Of these, BA2 comprises probably of 55% or more cases of Omicron. BA2. Now remember this, BA1 has S gene dropout. BA2 of Omicron does not have S gene dropout, which means that if the lab reports S gene detected, this detection may be in Delta or maybe in the BA2 variant of Omicron. Now, Omicron comprises of more than 95% of cases in metropolis cities like Mumbai and Pune. Therefore, if S gene is detected, we must assume that this is Omicron BA2 variety. It is incorrect to give the Cassirivimab, Imdevimab cocktail in Omicron, whether it is BA1 or BA2. I hope, I hope this message is loud and clear. So don't make S gene detection a reason for giving the antibody cocktail. Thank you.